Kelly, what's the latest? At approximately 3.10 this afternoon, a vehicle that was matching the description of a suspect vehicle that was involved in an Amber Alert where a 15-year-old girl was kidnapped out of Solana County. It was observed on the freeway heading southbound uh, near north of Los Alamos. Uh, the suspect vehicle was uh, being pursued by CHP. It exited uh, in Buellton. Uh, Santa Barbara County Air Support was providing critical information, uh, air surveillance, uh, letting uh, dispatch and letting uh, law enforcement know where this vehicle was located. It went through the city of Solvang into a residential neighborhood. Uh, the suspect vehicle crashed uh, at a mobile home park. The suspect got out of the vehicle, ran into and broke into one of the mobile homes. A female resident inside ran out of the mobile home. The suspect uh, began firing shots uh, coming outside of the house. He came out of the house. Uh, he got into a vehicle in the neighborhood and began driving off. Uh, shots were exchanged between the suspect and law enforcement. Uh, the suspect uh, was located inside the vehicle and he was deceased as a result of gunshot wounds. Uh, at this point, our number one concern right now is for the 15-year-old uh, kidnapping victim who is still outstanding. Uh, we are asking everyone uh, to look at a picture of this young woman and if you have any information uh, to please uh, contact law enforcement. Uh, we right now have the FBI, uh, the sh uh, sheriffs uh, from Solana County, uh, Santa Barbara County Sheriff, CHP, all working to determine uh, what happened here and uh, definitely everyone is very concerned for her welfare. Do you have a picture with you? you can show us or? I do not. We're working on getting you one right away. There was one released with the Amber Alert, I believe. Was he spotted outside of Santa Barbara County before? Uh, the first time he was observed, to my knowledge, is he was driving southbound on the 101, and it was north of Los Alamos, and he was being pursued by CHP. And then he exited. Uh, the, the pursuit took some twists and turns, but he ultimately exited in Buellton and the pursuit went through the city of Solvang. He was then also uh, being pursued by sheriff's deputies as well. That's when he crashed uh, in front of the mobile home park and he got out of his vehicle, uh, ran into one of the mobile homes, broke into that mobile home, and a female resident inside, who obviously was, was terrified, ran out. And that's when the suspect began firing shots and ran back out and jumped into a vehicle in the neighborhood and then drove off and shots were exchanged between law enforcement and the suspect. And then the suspect uh, was found inside the vehicle and, and he was uh, deceased. Do we know if he 